Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're going to be discussing the new iPad Air 2. Apple has announced the new iPad Air 2 yesterday in their October event. Buyers can now order the new iPad 2 online at Apple.com. However, the new iPad Air 2 will not ship until sometime next week. Uh, the new iPad will have many new features and upgrades. It's just going to be an awesome device. It's currently, like I said, available at Apple's site. And if you get it right now, you get free shipping. So keep that in mind. It's a very impressive. The specs are very awesome. And we're going to take a look at some of those as well. It's a much thinner device now. We thought it was thin before. Now it's even thinner than the iPad Air. Can you believe that? Uh, they showed the display lying behind a pencil, which the top portion had been shaved off of the pencil, and you still couldn't see it. So, you know, how much thinner really can they get these? And they're going to be in the same, the, the uh, iPad Air 2 will be in the same configuration as the iPhone 6, meaning they have eliminated the 32 gigabyte configurations but didn't change any of the prices, which is great for us. The display, it, it has a backlit LED widescreen with multi-touch ID, IPS technology. Uh, you did hear me correct. You will have a new ID sensor on this one as well, just like your iPhone 6 and 5S. The new iPad Air 2 has a resolution of 2048 by 1536 at 264 ppi the, the display comes with a fingerprint laminated coating and anti-reflective coating which should make it very easy to see in all light conditions it's going to have a new a8x processor which is supposed to be faster than the ipad air guys and i thought it was blazing fast uh, really how much thinner and faster can they get these things sooner or later we're just going to be packing around a piece of glass all we're going to have this display in our hand the camera has been upgraded to the rear camera has been upgraded to eight megapixels with autofocus burst mode timers geotagging and much more it's now capable of recording in 1080p video with slow motion 120 feet per second videos, time lapse video, and much more, guys. This thing is now going to be an awesome device to take pictures with. The front camera has the same 1.2 megapixel 7 uh, 720p capability with uh, HDR photo and video with burst mode and timers added. The new iPad Air will also have a new updated Wi-Fi service for a much faster download speeds and upload speeds. And it offers a new sensor for detecting barometers. So, you know, developers will be able to add that into their apps coming up very soon. And you'll also be able to enjoy sharing photos and videos with friends and family through our play on your Apple TV. Or if you don't have an Apple TV, now you can just purchase a VGA adapter, which is sold separately for mirroring using the lightning digital AV connector, which I thought that was pretty awesome. And you also get Siri with the new iPad Air 2. Uh, battery power is always important. You get up to 10 hours of battery life for watching video and listening to music. That's pretty much a full day. Users can now enjoy many free applications from the Apple Store, which have all been updated for iOS 8. And they they're going to be a lot of different ones you're going to really enjoy. All the iWork uh, apps have been updated. Pages, Numbers, Keynote, all those have been updated. And it comes with many other built-in apps such as FaceTime, Mail, Music, the iTunes Store, App Store, Notes, Contacts, Game Center, iBooks, Podcast. But guys, you get a whole lot of new stuff in this new iPhone, I'm sorry, iPad Air 2. So be sure to check it out. Let me know what you think. Are you going to spring for the new iPad Air 2? Or are you just going to keep what you got? Be sure to share it in the comments. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Share this as always. And keep coming back.